Hey guys, what's up? This is the Electricians in Action, where we get together and we talk about the code every morning before we go out and fight the good fight. You can catch the EIA every day at 9 a.m. Let's get to it. All right, guys, I'm really excited about this week's videos. We're going to be talking about, you know, how much should I charge for a service call when doing electrical estimating? So uh, this is assuming you've got your electrical license, you're ready to roll, you're insured, you're ready to roll. Now, how much do I, you know, charge for a service call? And this is really going to depend and it's going to grow as you grow. So when you first start out, you know, even if you've been in the game for five or 10 years and you first start out and you get your license, people are essentially allowing you to practice on them. Doc Doctors use that term, don't they? They call it a practice. And literally what they're doing is practicing on you. And if you've been with any doctors for any amount of time, you know that they are practicing on you. So with that being said, how much should you charge for a service call? So first off, you need to find out what is the cost of a service call in your area. You know, what is kind of the going rate? We can't price bid. We can't price, uh, you know, excuse me, price rig. We can't price fix. And, you know, we can't do that. But you want to find out kind of what's the going rate. Hey, do most electricians charge $80, you know, for the first hour? Do they charge $125? Are they charging $225? Are they charging $325? And it all depends on your area. You also have to ask the question, am I doing, you know, commercial or, uh, you know, residential? Because my service call prices change based on what I'm doing. But let's say, for instance, that the average going rate in your area is around $100 an hour for the first hour for the well-standing electrician who's rock and roll. We're just going to use this for easy math, okay? Maybe much higher or much lower in your area. So when you first start out, you're probably going to start out around 60 or 80 right? You're not going to start out at the top. You're not going to start out. When I first started out, it was $50 for a service call for the first hour. OK, so you got to kind of guard yourself here. And I, you hear me keep saying first hour and that's just, uh, you know, your area may be different in the way that they do it. But if you are doing troubleshooting, you have to charge by the hour. I don't charge by the hour for everything else. I charge by flat rate price. But when it comes to, um, you know, when it comes to doing service calls and troubleshooting, I have to charge by the hour. So let's make up this fake scenario and I'll tell you kind of how I deal with it. So a customer calls me, they say, hey, I've got some outlets out, but I don't know what the problem is. I'll say, okay, so listen, so it'll be X amount of dollars and that'll buy us about an hour of troubleshooting. Once I find the problem, I'll give you a flat rate price on fixing it, but you won't be charged more than X amount without knowing about it. So that lets them know right off the rip, it only buys them about an hour. They won't be charged more than that initial amount without knowing about it. About it. I'm a flat rate person kind of guy. Okay. And we're going to talk about a different scenario in just a second. So you can look at a couple different ways to do it, but let's look at it like this. So let's say I got there and find the problem. I told them it was going to be a hundred dollars. We'll say for easiness, for ease, we're going to say that it's a hundred dollars and I get out there and I find the problem and I find out it's going to be a total of 180. So as soon as I find the problem, I don't care if it's one minute later or one hour later, I'm going to stop and I'm going to say, Hey, it'll be 180 total plus your parts to fix everything today. So I went out there, I protected myself because if you've been in the game for any amount of time, you know that troubleshooting can literally turn into hours long disaster and it may be a problem that's been going on for four years. They finally just called somebody and there is no answer. Somebody's disconnected something in the wall or something's buried in the wall or you're never going to find the problem. It just happens. It doesn't happen very often. So you've got to guard yourself. So let's say I get in this scenario and I get to the end of that hour. I will either have a clear path to you know what I think is ultimately going to be the result and I'll stop and give them a flat rate quote quote or if I need more time I'll say hey it's going to cost you another hundred dollars or another hundred twenty five to to buy about another hour I think I'm hot on the trail typically within that first hour though I've either solved the problem and given them a flat rate quote or I have said hey I need a little bit more time or this needs to be rewired. So, you know, I don't buy more time with them unless, because I don't want to waste my time, right? I could be on doing something else unless I feel like we're hot on the trail. If I think, you know, just give me a little bit more time. You give me another hundred dollars, I'll find the problem. And we'll also apply that towards the fix when we do ultimately find it. So with that being said, you're going to start out less. So you're going to start out a little bit lower. So $50, $75, $100, and then you're going to work your way up. You know, you're doing it a year, two years. You might sneak it up $25. I try to raise my service call price every year, but there is a point, right, where you can only charge so much and be competitive. So we are also in a capitalistic market. We have to be competitive. So we are going to find that boiling point where you kind of hear the consumer buck back or other electricians, you kind of get the sense that, hey, you're just charging way too much. Much. But charge is relative to the level of service, the level of communication, the level of execution, and also the level of the warranty. So you got to decide who you want to be in the game. Now, when you first start out, you got to kind of pay your dues. But once you get to that level where you're confident, 
competent and ready to roll, you've got to decide, you know, what electrician you're going to be. Are you going to be the one who is like eating soup of the fork where you're, you know, you're busy, you're busy, but you're never getting full. Or do you want to charge a fair price, but charge a high enough price that you can offer a high quality job and you're not running around. One of my, the worst things I hate is like running around with a chicken with my head cut off. If you are running your business like a chicken with its head cut off, you need to stop. You need to, you know, calibrate and you need to fix it because you should not be running your company, your business, or your men like a chicken with your head cut off. So start off small, work your way up. You're going to find yourself where you get to a certain point, set yourself up a residential set of prices, also set yourself up a commercial set of prices. And it's all about the modification and adjustment. And what I mean is, is that you'll charge, you know, 145 one time and you'll say, Hey, it was a little bit much. Or, you know, also one thing that you have to watch for is sometimes you get in there and it's stupid easy, right? You walk in, you push a button, and you're done. So if I told somebody $100, for instance, to come out, and I come out, and I literally fix it in 10 seconds, a lot of times I'll just charge them 60 or 40 I charge more than that, but I'm just using this, you know, for ease of explanation, you know, for you know, for talking about this today. So I hope you guys have a great day. I just want to take time and invest in you, invest in your career, and I want to do everything that I can to add as much value to you as possible. So if there's anything I can do to help you in life or business, just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com gmail.com. Let's get to it. Hey guys, that's it for today, but I just want to take a minute and remind you that this is the greatest time in history to be an electrician. I will help you every step of the way, become a licensed electrician, break the chains, change the legacy, become everything that you were meant to be in life and in the electrical industry. You can email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. You can do this. Whew, let's get to it.